Okay, welcome back to the bench. Uh, what I want to talk to you about tonight is the Electra Bearcat scanners. Um, those, those scanners uh, were built like tanks, very heavy, but they were crystal controlled and they're basically not usable anymore unless you can find the correct crystal. Uh, Bearcat used a 10.8 uh, IF instead of a 10.7. So you got to be specific as to which crystals you're, you're getting. And there is an option. So I'm going to zoom you in over here. I want to show you my, um, my Electra Bearcat 4 um, that I'm just taking out of service now because my town has revamped all of their frequencies and I don't have the crystals for it. And then I'm going to show you the alternative and, and how to handle it. Okay, so here's my Bearcat 4. Um, I guess I'm fascinated because of the lights going back and forth. Just very cool looking to me. Um, Increasing to 15 to 29 still works. Midnight. Still Waves works. One foot or less. But again, it's crystal controlled. Um, a lot of these were in very good condition, as you can see. These are old. Uh, you know, back in the late 60s, early 70s. Um, this one I've had in service for my local town. Uh, but again, now they're not using these frequencies anymore. So I, I have to take this out of service. But a couple years ago, I, I revamped one so that I could keep it in service all the time. And I, I just want to show you what I did. Rather than junking these, there's a lot of them for sale. Some of them in as good a condition as this for a little, little money. Um, so again, stand by. I'm going to pull the other one up on the bench. The other one's a Bearcat 3. Okay, so here's my Bearcat 3 scanner. And you can see... I've now turned it into an FM radio. One of these does have, does have a remote. Turn the volume up and down, I can change channels. It also has the ability for a USB or a TF card in here. So you can put your own music in. I just think these are very cool. Um, I'm gonna show you on the schematic what I did. Um, probably gonna get, probably gonna get flagged because of the music. So I'm gonna shut it off, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Um, wouldn't be the first time that's happened. But again, it's a neat way to reuse, especially if, if you think things are cool and you want to keep them around. Uh, look, this is real chrome. This is chromed metal. This isn't plastic. Metal. Everything is metal. I'm going to take it apart um, just to show you the inside. But I'm going to swing over, just bear with me for a minute. I'm going to get you down looking at, let me see if I can get this a little bit better here. Okay. All right. So if you want it to scan all the time, you have to short out the scan bar. Okay, it's very easy to do. Yeah, where's my pointer? So I get my fat fingers out of the way. There's one. Okay, so it's very easy to do. A points um, R26, and you can join it right to R29, or the wires coming off of here, you can just twist them together. Um, whichever you prefer to do, but this switch comes out of circuit. If you remember looking, yeah, swing it back around again. There's a volume, a squelch, and a scan button. It's gone. I replaced these three with the module from AliExpress. I think it was AliExpress. Okay. 
The next thing I did was I needed an on off switch for the power. So I took the, I took the jack out for the external speaker. Okay, put an on off switch in there. Uh, coming up, coming up here. Okay, this, I took a C16 out. I took the volume control out. I took the, the, uh, Q5, I took that out of circuit. I added uh, an 82K to ground at this point, and this is where the audio gets fed in from that module. There might be other ways of doing this. Might be better ways of doing it. I'm just showing you what I did. Um, didn't want to throw the, the scanner out, so I found something to do with it. Oh, man. Okay, that's better. Uh, the squelch came out of circuit. Okay, took that out. That was pretty easy. And here's where the parts are. I believe this is C16. I don't remember if I took it completely out or I just lifted the one side to take this part of the circuitry out. I removed Q5. And here's the R26 and C29 that I was talking about. Okay. It's very easy to do. I'm going to pull the radio apart. I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, I think it was a cool thing to do. Hope you're enjoying this. Okay, so here's the inside. Uh, real simple, what I did was... I did replace, this is the main filter cap. I did replace that. Most of this other stuff is not in circuit any longer. Yeah, let's get some light on the subject here. I lifted, I lifted the leg off of this cap. Okay. And where are we here? No, oh, that was stock. Okay, so here's... Here's how the module fits in. I had to cut a hole to make it fit. It's got brackets that just clamps it in there. Comes out nice. Um, and it's a perfect place for it. Uh, you've got, I think these are the power leads. Yeah, I believe this is the power lead. Okay. And this is the audio. Uh, okay probably have them confused but it's real simple over in here where are we here I don't know if you can see come on Freddie get it right okay so up in here is the uh, is the uh, transistor that I removed I'm feeding the audio in okay and the power is tapped off uh, power is tapped off down here. Uh, can't see that too well. Power is tapped off from ground in here. All right. And here is the antenna lead. You could use a shielded cable, I guess, if you want. I just ran, just ran it around. And then on the other side of the board, I just attached it to the antenna. Now, you can, look, depending on what you have, if you have, if you have one of these expandable antennas that comes with them, it'll plug right in over here. It'll plug right in. I'm not using that down here because I'm in the basement and most radio reception down here is horrible. Um, I use a, another antenna for it, okay? 
Also, this jack down here is for UHF. So you could hook, hook the wire to here if you chose to. I have the antenna, so I didn't bother with that, okay? The other thing, here's the power jack, okay? I had a couple of these for my radios. So again, I just left that in. Again, this is a big switch you could have used. This is what I had. I wasn't going to go out and buy anything. It's what I had in my drawer. That's what I used. All right. And that's how the radio works. It's pretty cool. You could see this is all heavy gauge. None of this in here is operating. All I'm doing is using the uh, power and the audio amplifier to drive the speaker. That's it. This is where I tapped off. And I put that resistor in. Okay. Very cool. So again, if you like these radios and you want to keep them operating, Seven to five feet. Wednesday, north winds 20 to 30 knots. Sea 7 to 12 feet. Wednesday night, north to northeast winds 20 to 30 knots. Sea hey, 6 to 11 again. feet. Again. Thursday. If you think it's cool, something you want to do, it's very easy. You can stop, print the pictures um, of what I was showing you, uh, and you'll be able to dig in and, and do this yourself. Have some fun, guys. These radios, to me, are, I guess I'm old school. I like to see the blinking lights going by, even though they don't do anything anymore other than blink. Um, again, to me, that's pretty cool. Hey, click like, hit subscribe, make a comment. Let me know what you think of this.